Hey, hi, what's your name? Gary Pickholtz. And you are which nationality? American. I'm from Palo Alto, California. And tell me about the um, torture, psychological, emotional, whatever, that you've endured at the hands of the State of Israel for 16 years. Well, I came for a long weekend in January 2001 for my son's bar mitzvah. So it's now been 16 years uh, that I've been held without notice for the entire 16 year period to today. 100% of my assets, earnings, and salaries are taken. I am precluded from a driver's license. I'm even precluded from membership in any of the health and medical organizations. So I'm actually outside of the medical system. Um, How human have, do you feel, Gary? No, you're past all sense of humanity. It's gone. It, that's long gone. You've gone 16 years at 100%. You're not permitted a bank account. You're not even permitted medicine. Um, by definition, the court is saying you are not permitted basic human rights. You are not human. You're not human. And you can't leave the country. You have a no exit no, order. You cannot leave the country um, until, um, until I. This originated because of an absurd sum of child support, which was um, a little over 12 times my income, which how a judge orders 12 times one's income is not the point. Um, the district court in Jerusalem retroactively to day one reduced that seven years ago, but to this day, no other court in Israel will honor that order. What about the Americans? Do they help you? Uh, the American ambassador, the prior American ambassador, Danny Kurtzer, was helpful. Um, I cannot stress in strong enough terms what a disaster the present ambassador is um, and the lack of any assistance from the embassy. I understand that's a conscious decision on the part of the Department of State that occurred about seven to ten years ago. Um, to basically abandon American citizens overseas and legal issues. Uh, but the, it is shocking. Uh, one does not comprehend when you go wheels up at JFK or SFO that you're leaving the Bill of Rights behind. Somehow you think when you land in a country like India or the Philippines or Israel that if something goes wrong, you can go to your embassy. Uh, it's shocking to discover that the embassy wants nothing to do with you. In a democratic country. In a democratic country. So you've with treaties. The abuse you suffered at the hands of the system is immeasurable. Immeasurable. And I want to underscore: we were divorced in California. Our divorce is a California divorce. We are not divorced in Israel. We're two Americans. We were divorced in San Jose, California, in 1998. So she just came here to use the system against you. Correct. It's a trick that a lot of Americans fall for. Unfortunately, it's a trick that many American Jews play. Because but of we're the Zionism. Not e we're not even discussing um, a difference of opinion or legality between Israel and the United States. Our divorce is a California divorce. It's remarkable. So you're a trapped human being, a trapped animal. Uh, correct. And, and under the Israeli system, um, wrong as it is, not only do I not have legal representation, the notion of a lawyer of last resort or right to counsel does not exist in Israel. Um, but worse, for a multitude of reasons, um, women with a claim of um, child support receive free legal counsel from the state. So ironically, my divorcee, and now children because they're older, actually receive a free attorney who will pursue this endlessly, he has no motivation to stop, paid for by the state, while I, on the other hand, am denied right to counsel. So I'm in a court, I don't understand 30-40% of what's going on, my verbal capability is minimal, my writing capability is zero, um, it's quite frightening from an American perspective to suggest that the minute you board a plane, all of those rights of an American as a businessman um, are suddenly forfeited and the embassy will do nothing. No human rights organizations here that actually can help you? No. 
no rights to complain, no ombudsman, no independent places? Um, no, and, and to the contrary, um, there's an enormous crackdown on them um, and on any media representation of most of the NGOs. Um, the Israelis are cracking down on all the NGOs that they perceive to be um, giving uh, a negative impression of the state of Israel. Or a realistic one. Or a realistic one, but the point being you don't expect this kind of a Bolshevik, truly Eastern European Russian Bolshevik um, perspective to occur. Um, so most organizations are quite frightened. Um, I was interviewed by Channel 10 Television, um, and within about an hour, it was already off the air, off of their, um, okay. off of their website, with um, a myriad of apologies as to why. So the you need help. Major newspaper in Jerusalem wrote an extended article about it, um, and also the following week, to my surprise. Um, was forced to print a retraction. So retraction you, you, of need, what? you need some help. Need this help desperately. Okay, thanks. We're going to do it.